definitely a boy spirit. Something happened to him on this area. We picked up water with him as well, drownings. It's as if the windpipe's been, uh, been cut off and blood is going down into my lungs. He said it was just like walking into a refrigerator. And he was actually scared to come downstairs. I know that there's an accident connected to this place. Some, somebody's died down here. Oh, yeah. There's another child here. There's two children, two children. They died together. This week, the rescue mediums will visit the town of Port Perry on the shores of Lake Scugog and a small house where guests have experienced more than a few spirits. Well, I have two fellas that are staying here from Las Vegas. One was uh, coming downstairs, it was about three o'clock in the morning, and he was standing right about here, and he stopped dead. He said it was just like walking into a refrigerator. He said it was cold, he got chilled, and he was actually scared to come downstairs. And then the other fella that was in the room saw something go by his door, a figure, like. The rescue mediums are on their way to investigate. Hello. Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who use their gifts to show wayward spirits into the light. Could have been worse. Could have been stuck in the bucket. <laughs> they had no idea they would be arriving on a tractor. In fact, they have been given no information whatsoever of the home they are about to visit. Even their destination has been kept secret up until now. But days earlier, they did have some other intriguing premonitions. Breathing with a lung apparatus, mm. you know, L labored, labored breathing, labor. yeah. Mm. And there is a lady spirit active as well, who I feel shakes things, ah. you know, to get attention. Yeah. There was a fella sleeping in there, and he was actually woken up with the shaking of the bed. He thought it was the kids. And so he got up, looked for the kids. He said, now stop that. And then there was nobody there. And strange noises that can't be explained as well. Yes, I've got similar He's to that same. as well. Yeah. But it could even be a child yeah. crying, and maybe yeah. a child that's spirit child trapped. This is the room where the, the little girl is most felt by everybody. Sometimes if I'm in the room making the bed, She'll come in and you can just feel, you can sense her in the room. It's kind of like, you know that there's somebody there, like somebody's watching you. Mm. But this little boy stands in, mm. has stood in front of a window. Yeah, I, I think he may be trapped, this little boy. As another form of premonition, Jackie and Christine have created psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their visit. Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums, psychics who make house calls. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, Chris, Hi. I'm Wendy. Hi, Hi Jackie. Hi, 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 Jackie.
or anything like yeah. that. Um, Writing on the silo, we have that. Yeah. 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 One of the spirits that I talk to all the time is a is a little girl, mm -hmm. right. and that she's uh, she's been here a long time. Mm -hmm. If you do rescue her, then it would be nice if she could come back. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. Because I, I like don't that. feel that the little girl needs no. rescue at all. No, she wants just to no. be here. Oh, she just likes good. being here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Okay. Well, that's great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thanks. There we go. As the rescue mediums begin their investigation, they will encounter their first clue about the spirit of the mysterious little girl. Oh, I can't even get my breath. Tell them to take it off. The rescue mediums, internationally renowned psychics Jackie Dennison and Christine Hamlet, have been called to help in this Port Perry home. Chris? They begin their investigation on the ground floor where they are already sensing their first spirit. Oh, no, then. Can, I think somebody's passed in this room. Yeah. I think somebody's passed. Yeah. Do you know, it feels like somebody just sat down in a chair. That's it. That's, died. Yeah, that's how it feels. Just, yeah. Like that. Gone, gone. very quickly. The rescue mediums continue their investigation upstairs where they begin to feel an oppressive atmosphere. <sighs> Got that breathing thing again. I can't breathe on this floor. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm I can feel that. Like a suffocating sort of yeah. feeling. I kind of can feel a very female lady present here. Hmm. I just feel very, very shaky. This is what you call making use of every available space. Isn't it, nice Isn't it lovely? Oh, this is a, oh, this nice, is a room. nice room. Oh, isn't that a gorgeous picture? Look at that. The rescue mediums have entered the lavender room, the site of at least one previous ghostly encounter. I was in this room in the spring as we had a sorority function, so our sorority sisters were here for an evening of uh, girl talk movies. I went off to sleep and I was laying over there and uh, after a while I could feel this on the bed. So I woke up, but I was the only one in the room. The lights were on, I looked around and I was alone. I went back to sleep and uh, after a while, I felt this on my arms. So I woke up and uh, again, I was alone in the room. Now the disruptive spirit is making itself known to the rescue mediums. Just to breathe in. I know, it's bad, isn't it? Just, yeah. It's the lady. It's the lady. Oh, right. It's like a full, a full fluid. What, like uh, fluid? <gasps> Tell him to take it off. They're going? Yeah. You can't have that on your jack because you'll end up not being able to breathe and then... I know. We're talking to you from the other side. <laughs> It's all right, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> the rescue mediums move into the Magnolia room, but their breathing difficulties seem to stay with them. There might be. Hello. Yeah, yeah. It's that breathing thing with the lady. Again, yeah, it's there again, isn't Even it? Even though, I mean, I'm not saying that she died in this room, but her influence is, is up here yeah. and there is a breathing problem. There is. I would say she died in the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would. I would say so too. She might just be putting conditions well, on us, but she yeah. might need help. So, yeah. okay. So if we just fill the room full of like, oh, it's there again. It's, it's happening again, but it's not with the lady. <laughs> this is somebody else that's, that's putting this condition on me. 
Jackie seems to have contacted a different presence. It's as if the windpipe's been, uh, uh, and, and, and it's been cut off. And, and blood is going down into my lungs. I've got blood going into my lungs. The rescue mediums have contacted a second spirit in the home. They now move outside to continue their investigation and come across an unexpected surprise. That's another bit. Ooh. Do you want to go down? I'm going to have to. I'm in that case, a one ding do. I bet, oh. I bet this, we, you know, we said about an underground stream. The rescue mediums have located the confluence of several underground streams which literally run across this cellar floor. Oh. No, some, somebody's died down here. Somebody's, oh, yeah. Can you smell it's, it? It's, yeah. It's a child. I know that there's an accident connected to this place. It's definitely an accident because I've got my head's hurting again. You know, we picked up on, on um, uh, drowning and things like yeah. that. We both picked up on I that. Know, I wonder if it's connected to here because to this stream. What is the connection between the cellar and the spirits of this home? The rescue mediums are about to uncover the terrifying truth. I'm, I'm drowning. There's two. They died together. In the cellar of this Port Perry home, the rescue mediums feel the death of a child is linked to their premonition of a drowning. They will now attempt to contact a child's spirit and discover a secret kept hidden for decades. Anybody there? Are you here? Yeah. Give us a sign. <laughs> you want to come forward? You don't have to hide from us. We are friends. We can help. I've seen a blue, blue light just shot. Across there by the door. Eh? Little like yeah. fair haired boy. Yeah. yeah. Come forward. Do you want to come forward a little bit? Oh, he's coming forward a little tiny bit, and I can actually see a, a light now. Good. I've got a light coming in from that direction there. Child here. There's another child. There's two children. There's two children. Two children. There's the two children. These two. These two are two boys. These two and the similar ages. Yeah. The similar ages to, to to this one. About ten. There's two. They died together. Died together. These two boys died together. I'm drowning with this as well. I'm, I'm drowning with these two. You did what? They stole, you stole, a, they stole a boat. They stole a boat. These, these are, I think they're friends. They were together, they were together and they've been together and they've drowned. They've drowned together. Okay. So I'm gonna get these two, hopefully hopefully to go over. Okay, I'm gonna just fill the room full of the light again and, and hopefully get them to go forward. They are holding hands and they are gonna go through together. The 
souls of the two lost boys are finally shown into the light. The rescue mediums will match their premonitions with independent research and reveal some startling facts. Oh my goodness. In Port Perry, the rescue mediums have sent several spirits and shown two drowned children into the light. Now they will compare their premonitions with independent research and the knowledge of the previous homeowner. I would like to introduce you. I know you've kind of met him before. This is Alan Carter, and uh, he lived in the house and on the farm property for many years before my husband bought the property, which was about 35 years ago. So he knows a lot of history, and he knows the area, all the neighbors and everything. So he's a really good uh, person to talk to about the house. Mm, he's very important to us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, we said about a gentleman that passed in the downstairs room. I think somebody's passed in this room. I think somebody's passed. Yeah, that yeah. was his uncle Jack. And that was your uncle. And I, this photograph here is um, of your uncle John, did you say his name was? There we go. Yeah, is that, is that your, that's your uncle John there? Mm -hmm. And he died in this house. Yeah. Okay, so that's the gentleman that we picked up on um, in the other room. Alan Carter's uncle, John Carter, lived in the house for 30 years until his death in 1944. A few other things that we picked up on as well uh, in this house, um, we kept feeling that um, both of us were having breathing problems. I've got that breathing thing again. I can't breathe on this floor. The lady that we came across upstairs, we've mm -hmm. talked to Alan earlier on about um, the name of Martha, which came up. Alan Carter's Aunt Martha also lived in the house. She had severe respiratory problems due to an asthmatic condition which caused her later death. We had the breathing problems with her, so we feel that this lady was the lady that was put in the conditions because there was nobody trapped, there was nobody no. uh, bothered. Yes, if you look at this, the face yeah. here yeah. And, and this bit here. Yeah. Just the hair is it's different. The so, hair is just slightly yeah. different. different. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit more modern, but the face is, is the, the same. same. Mm -hmm. So she was making her presence quite well known to us. Now you've talked about the child as well, that that's yeah. the spirit yeah. child that's in the house. Mm -hmm. um, Christine's actually said the child's name is Sarah. Oh, and her name good. was Sarah Sexton and the Sextons were the first people to live in this house. And so Sarah goes back quite a long time to the 1860s. She actually choked. She did? She, well, she did, really? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. on um, some, were they buds or uh, something? Yeah, they were buds uh, that and she... And they poisoned them Yeah, well, she, she vomited the, the buds away. Oh, she was choking, she vomited. But as a result of this, she she uh, was poisoned and she died. I think she was six years of age. And there's more. Mm. <laughs> and there's more. There's lots there's more. There's much more. The rescue mediums now turn their attention to the cellar and reveal their remarkable encounter to the homeowner. We, we were amazing. very surprised to find two little boys that had drowned. Um, and they, they told us that they had um, stolen a boat. You did what? You stole a, they stole a boat. They stole a boat. And the, the boat had capsized and they drowned and they were uh, very uh, bothered by the fact that they'd stolen this boat and, and that had prevented them from going forward to the spirit world. There is a newspaper report that we've now found that um, they, they took this boat, um, borrowed it, yeah. went sailing in this boat, it capsized and they both drowned. Oh my goodness. This was June the 30th, 1863. So I didn't know there was that many in your cellar. No wonder I don't like the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew why. <laughs> um, 
But anyway, they've all gone. They're, they've all gone, apart from your little girl. Who, who, yeah, Sarah. yeah. Is Sarah's not leaving? Sarah likes no, to leave. She leave. No, she doesn't oh. want to leave. No, well, that's okay. I don't mind her being here. Sarah's looking after the place. Well, very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I feel exhausted. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. It's been, I'm so glad that I, we we got connected yes. the way we yeah. did because uh, I knew there was something here. And I'm so glad Sarah wants to be here with me. Oh, yeah. She, she does. does. So yeah, now you she can does. Yeah, so now Sarah. I can call her Sarah. Now you know yeah. I don't have to just talk into yeah. thin air. I can talk yeah. to somebody. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Successful well, house, wasn't it? Quite, uh, quite, quite busy. Amazing. <laughs> Especially about the boys that, yeah. that drown, which I mean, know. That was amazing. That it was a good story. Was. Yeah, I could Great drown job. in this. This is gorgeous. I know, it's quite nice, isn't it? I'm not mm. a beer drinker, really. But... Lovely. Cheers. 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 Yeah.